Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make an Ayurveda hair oil. As you can see, my hair is in these twists. I've got a protective style in, pardon, but that's okay because you can use this oil on your scalp as well as your hair. And this is packed with all kinds of great things from the Ayurveda hair treatment system. Uh, we have amla, we're going to be working with fenugreek, neem oil, all of these are going to help promote a healthy scalp and healthy hair, which in turn is going to promote hair growth. So this is your very own DIY Ayurveda hair oil or hair growth serum. Before we get started, I always begin my videos with a prayer. I hope you guys, especially my brothers and sisters in Christ, are praying over your hair products and your hair on a daily basis. So if you don't mind joining me, dear Heavenly Father, Forgive us all for all of our sins. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for each and every viewer you have brought to this video. I ask that you bless everyone watching to enjoy the video, Lord Jesus. I ask that you protect their hair, protect them, Lord Jesus, and bless us to learn how to love and appreciate our hair in each and every phase of our journey. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So, let's get started. All right, guys, so I'm going to be taking over with voiceover from here. I'm using a clear jar because it's got the ounces measurement on the side. And I'm also going to be using this smaller jar with an eyedropper to fill with one of my products. This is my applicator bottle. It's already got a little bit of oil in it, but that's okay. If you want to start with a clean bottle, that's perfectly fine. I just didn't feel like pouring the oil out or wasting it. So here we go. We're going to be using amla powder and we're also going to be adding our lovely fenugreek seeds. You can substitute this with fenugreek powder if you like. I just had a big bag of seeds left so I decided to go with this. No big deal. You can choose whatever you like. This is the texture up close. It's very, it's actually very easy to get your hands on. I got mine from Amazon and I'll leave a link for that in the description box below. Olive oil is going to be the oil of choice for me. And then we're going to be adding a little bit of avocado oil as well as neem oil and a little bit of vitamin E oil. And we'll also be adding some vitamin C powder. Fenugreek is actually really great for your hair. It's all over the Ayurveda uh, hair treatment system because it's high in protein and it's it can help fight against hair fall, dandruff, um, excessive shedding, and it can help treat a lot of different scalp issues like dryness, baldness, and hair thinning. So this is definitely something that you want to look into if you're unfamiliar with it. I'm going to be adding two ounces of this to my mixture. Um, don't worry if you don't catch the um, ingredients and the recipe recipes and the measurements right now. Everything will be included in the description box below. Next will be our amla powder and I like to use this because it helps condition your scalp which will also help promote healthy hair growth. It can also improve the tone of henna dye so if you use henna this is something you definitely want to include in your hair routine because henna is a natural hair dye and this can help improve the tone of that. It will minimize the gray hairs that you may or may not have as well as boost the volume and reduce dandruff. And you can just give this a nice dry stir to make sure the amla and the fenugreek are mixed together. No big deal. You don't have to do this. You can skip this step, but I like to make sure all the ingredients are nice and combined. Olive oil is my favorite oil because it's full of antioxidants, which helps maintain the scalp and the health of your hair. It can prevent cell damage and it nourishes and conditions the hair, as well as improving its quality. It also helps improve the blood circulation in your scalp. Avocado oil I'm adding because it's very moisturizing and it helps fight against breakage. And next we'll be adding neem oil which will add shine and help nourish and condition your scalp as well. Neem oil is very smelly so if you haven't worked with it I highly advise giving it a quick whiff before deciding how much you want to add. Vitamin E oil helps support hair growth, prevents breakage, and it also fights against split ends. Vitamin C is a very powerful antioxidant and it also helps your body absorb iron and that's a very important mineral for hair growth. I forgot the vitamin C powder honestly on the side. I just noticed it now. So you don't have to wait until the very end to add it. You can go ahead and add it with your fenugreek seeds and your amla powder if that's what you like. 
So now I'm just going to give the entire product a nice big stir and you can see the vitamin C powder being absorbed into the oil as I'm stirring it. That is the only powder that will be absorbed by the oil. The amla powder and the fenugreek seeds will come to rest at the bottom of the jar when I stop stirring. So if you're going to let this steep more than a couple days, you might want to give it a stir every now and then. You also may want to add an oil-based preservative if you are going to let this steep for more than a few nights. I don't add a preservative because I plan on using it up within the next two weeks. So this that I'm about to show you here, please ignore the Nivea label. That was the only jar I had at the time. But this oil, I let this steep on my dresser for about eight months. It's old. It is very potent and is very strong because of how long it's been steeping. Just give it a nice stir every couple of days. I'd say once every three or four days if you can remember that so that the ingredients don't just settle at the bottom. But because this is so potent, I'm not going to use this on my hair or scalp every single day. I'm actually going to transfer this to my uh, my small jar with the eyedropper here and I'm going to use this more on hot oil treatments because I can rinse it out my hair or I'm going to mix it into other products that I do here on the channel DIY conditioners and things like that because this is so strong. So this is how the final product is going to look. You can see that the oil is settling on top of the fenugreek seeds. The amla powder is still mixed into that, but it will begin to settle overnight and the oil will separate itself so that you can transfer it to an applicator bottle or a container of your choice. And this is my very potent little bottle that I will be using sparingly, or you can um, let it steep just overnight or up to a couple of days and use that daily. It is totally up to you. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you being here. As you can see, my oil is still steeping in the background. I will probably let this steep overnight or maybe up to a week before I transfer it to my bottle, my applicator bottle. But these are the results that you can expect with a nice smooth consistency, a nice smooth oil. It looks really good. <laughs> here, let me see if you guys can catch that. If not, I'll record another shot, don't worry. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this is very, very potent, which is why it's in a dropper bottle. It's something that I would probably use on hot oil treatments where I can rinse it out of my hair, okay? And then whatever, excuse me, this which I'm only going to steep for about a week and transfer to this, this is something that I can use on a daily basis. It's much milder, it's not going to irritate my scalp. It's very, very good. So thank you guys for following me on this Ayurveda journey. We are we have a couple other videos uploaded on the channel if you want to check those out. If you like this video, please give it a like, a thumbs up, uh, let me hear your thoughts in the comments, and I hope that you hit the subscribe button. Until next time, God bless.